Hello and welcome to the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Friday, November the 28th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of the trading room. This is the address to get into the room and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. Well, so much for it being a sleepy half day after Thanksgiving. Uh, this is quite an exciting day. Uh, started off, of course, with the oil market just being trashed. Uh, oil is, I think, hit 66 or $67. Uh, I have a million, well, a million, I have a lot of bounce plays here. All, virtually every single one was an oil stock. Uh, to be honest, I did not play any one of them. Uh, I just couldn't, you know, it would be a matter of, okay, which one is the one going to bounce? And, you know, some of them did, some of them didn't, and just kept going down. And so I just had to shy away from that. Uh, when a whole sector is, is, is down like that, uh, you know, it's on a whim whether they go up or down. So I don't like those odds at all. However, I did mention in the pre-market that I would be watching uh, Macy's and Target because uh, I had heard that they'd had some really good uh, uh, online sales and all. And I thought that, uh, you know, the hype for Black Friday and all would be uh, pretty good for them. And I was uh, correct. Uh, Macy's was my only trade today, but it was a really good one. Uh, Macy's, I got into the trade right here at uh, 6438 and I sold half here at uh, 64.83, obviously premature as it just kept ripping. I actually said this would be, I, I was considering this to be an all, all day hold for me. Uh, I just didn't think it was going to accelerate as quickly as it did. And when this started happening, I just had to take some profit. And so on this down candle here, again, five minute, uh, sorry, these are three minute candles. Let me just see if, uh, okay, I'll go back to my, I guess I must have done this on a three minute uh, chart. Uh, <clears throat> and so I took the other half here at uh, 6541. Uh, so you know what? A great trade. I mean, a dollar three on the second half, and uh, nice on the first half also. Uh, again, for what I what con a lot of people would consider a very sleepy day. Uh, I'm glad I rolled out of bed, uh, bad cold and all, and uh, and uh, definitely. Um, um, was glad to take this one. The other one I mentioned was Target. So you could have really done both of them. You know, here basically it was here was when I got into Macy's at this level, and uh, Target uh, actually uh, kind of outperformed Macy's. It didn't have the big drop like uh, like Macy's did. So both uh, Macy's and Target uh, performed extremely well. <clears throat> Now, the other one I'm uh, keeping a look, I know uh, the market still has uh, almost 30 minutes left. Mm, doesn't look like it's going to. I, I'm, I'm uh, looking at uh, this one, VGGL. Uh, it's been in the, we've been following this for quite a while. Uh, I think that if it could close over $4 today, that uh, we could get some um, excitement for next week on it. Uh, you can see that it actually hit a high of 417 or 419 or 417. Let me see what it says here. Uh, high is 417. If I go to the daily chart, um, you can see we got a, we have a spike here at 460, uh, one right there 460, and then up here at uh, 571. So it does have room. Uh, it is it definitely gained traction. The volume has fallen off a little bit from uh, Thursday, but that's obvious, uh, uh, or sorry, Wednesday. But of course, it's only half a day, so it's still quite good for being half a day. And again, a day that uh, a lot of people don't don't trade at all. So I'm um, going to watch this definitely for, for next week, see if it can uh, get over $4, close above $4, and then, you know, ramp up from there. And again, we still have 30 minutes left. You never know what might happen in the last 30 minutes. The other one I think I'm going to... Uh, watch for next week is uh, this one. Um, mention it in the room as, as something to watch for next week. Uh, you see it's had a very nice day today. It's up uh, 51 cents, almost 10%. Uh, you, well, I mean, we got some resistance at $8. So here, here it is at six, but I like this action right here. It's basically taken out all of this. And um, so, so something definitely to watch for uh, next week. It'll be on my watch list. So that's it. Uh, oh, I just want to show you my other <laughs> my other one here. This is my wow, it's doing so well now. This is my um, my pet, I suppose, uh, MGNX. Uh, again, if you followed my videos for a while, you know that I got back into this one way back in April. Uh, suffered through a lot of this, uh, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up. Not really doing anything, but. Boy, when it broke through 21, uh, that was it. And uh, again, my average is about 21.45 uh, on this. So uh, I'm holding out for more, actually. Um, you know, again, if I, well, if I had to go back a little further on the daily chart, but um, let's see, or let me just uh, move it in a bit. 
There we go. We can see up here, there's $38 up here. So there is still room for this one to run. I'm not telling anybody to get into it. But uh, again, if anybody did follow me uh, into this and is thinking about holding, um, I am definitely. I mean, maybe at 30, I'm going to take something off. Uh, you know, it'd be a big psychological hurdle for this to get over 30, I think. But uh, it still has uh, some run in. And, you know, there's definitely some positive news or analysts are, are recommending it. Not that they know, you know, they're the be all and the end all. But, uh, you know, I have seen a target of 51, but I've seen many in the, you know, 35 to 40 level. So uh, it's just very gratifying for me to have held this for all this time. And now it's starting to really work well. Thank you again, Dan Merkin, CEO of Trade Ideas. All right. Well, uh, again, a short video, half a day, and uh, hopefully on Monday I'll be full uh, steam ahead as far as my health. Uh, another couple of days and maybe rest and I should be good. So hope to see you in the trading room on Monday. Uh, here is, again, the address to get into the room, and you can log in with your Facebook or Twitter account. Have a great uh, weekend, and we'll see you Monday.